Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another Sunday Stata tip. Today I'm gonna to show you how to standardize variables in Stata. I'm gonna show you how to do that both for a single variable and for multiple variables in a loop. And I'm gonna show you how to do it without using any sort of SSC installed command. I'm just gonna use what we have available to us in Stata right out of the box. So here's this auto data, and I've got this variable called miles per gallon. So here's this variable miles per gallon. You can see I've got a mean of 21 and a standard deviation of six. And maybe I want to standardize this variable and turn it into a z-score value with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. The way I'm going to do that using what Stata has available is when I sum something, if I say return list, what's going to come up is the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. If I have the mean and I have the standard deviation, I can calculate a z-score. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say quietly, because I don't necessarily want to see the sum output, and I'll just make it a little more efficient. I'm going to quietly sum miles per gallon. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a new variable. I'm just, to, I'm just going to call it z underscore miles per gallon. And I'm going to make this equal to miles per gallon minus, and I'm going to say r of mean, which is going to take the mean from the sum we just did. And then I'm going to divide that by the standard deviation. And it's going to look something like this. So I'll go ahead and run these two things together. And now if I sum z miles per gallon, you can see that I've got a mean of basically zero and a standard deviation of exactly one. And that's how you do it for one variable. Now maybe you've got multiple variables you wanna do it all at once. Well, you can use this fancy loop right here. So maybe I'll do this for price, trunk, and turn radius. Same thing, I'm just gonna sum the variable and generate this z underscore variable like we just did. So I'll run all of this. And then I'll go ahead and sum the z variables. And you can see for all these z variables, so miles per gallon, price, trunk, and turn, we've got a mean of basically zero and a standard deviation of one. So now we've standardized all four of these variables into z scores really easily. We didn't have to install any sort of fancy command. So if this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time for another case of econ struggles.